Okay, so what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? So it's Jupiter Day. It's like 9.30, 9.40, something like that where it's not quite nine and it's close to 10, but not really that close kind of time. And so right now I would like to talk about Jupiter day as I take this 52 minute long walk to my crib, to my crib, to my house, to my home <laughs> that I'm very grateful to have. And so Jupiter day is speaking of home, it's a cancer moon shout out to me it's flight day every moon every monday i feel like it's my flight day but yeah so jupiter day is all about travel expansion and education right so it's very much the energy that is directly correlated with school and i'm passing a university right now so you know when we go to school i also have <laughs> stuff with me it's cool because yeah it's cool i'm grateful to have arms to be able to even hold the shit in the first place i'm grateful to have legs and the will and the drive to do this i'm grateful that i can push past pain regardless of how hurt my feet may be or whatever the case may be so this video is not about that this video is about jupiter okay so as i stated jupiter is like the whole energy behind what school represents right so we're traveling to get to school we're traveling in between classes you know we're like mentally traveling and communicating passing notes and shit while we're in class you know so it's heavily on communication as well as traveling or whatever but i'm mostly going to focus on just the traveling aspect oh my fucking oh, look at these people on their bike um one day i'm gonna have a bike fuck you talking about <laughs> yo i enjoy walking but i also enjoy options so you know i could just hop on a train but I'd rather just walk because I don't feel like spending my damn money on the train to just ride it one goddamn time. And yeah, like I said, this video is not about that. This video is not about that. <laughs> this video is about Jupiter. So like I said, like I said, Jupiter is about all of that. So Jupiter is like the things you're willing to expand on, right? And so speaking of school, I just want to ask in general like when y'all was in school or when you go to school right now are you focused on learning like is that the focus like are you trying to learn something like are you observing learning receiving you know taking notes wanting to retain information and see how it can apply to your life to be a better person or are you going to fucking school to be seen like like just let's be honest let's be honest like because we all know mm, i wonder which direction i'm supposed to go i never took this way before to go to where i'm going and it's kind of like a oh i don't think oh okay okay i think it's just straight yeah because it's not that much of a turn it's just like a yield sign for the people that are coming from that way this way but anyway so like yeah so it's like even as young kids even as adults, even as university students, college students, and all these different type of things, we all know when, you know, some people don't give a fuck about school, don't give a fuck about class. They only want to come to say what's up to their friends, you know, flirt with who they like and shit like that and show off and show off their outfits and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people are not necessarily going to school to learn to get their education and I think for me I barely went to school or when I did go I only went for the classes that I actually gave a fuck about which was really just band like I fucked with band and you know that's about it you know what I'm saying um 
and art and shit and, and English was cool too but you know um, I'm just learning a lot from my surroundings and and sometimes like you know you could think you're an adult and you could think you have all of these reasons of what makes you an adult but like I feel like one of the things that makes you like a spiritual adult is your ability to be able to focus the most on what you need to be focused on like at times where there's like so many distractions and things around that's like trying to take your focus because it's like when somebody takes your focus it's like you going into their world and like instead of you being focused on your intention you have this other person's attention so you underneath they tent living in they woods you know what i'm saying it's just like i'm just learning that I'm learning what's best for me and stuff and I'm observing and I'm learning and I'm seeing patterns and certain things and and how to not get lost and swept up in and, and all these different things that you know can just distract you from your goal and your mission and things like that but um yeah so as I stated this video everything I'm talking about is related to Jupiter and expansion and traveling because I am literally traveling right now you know what I'm saying what are they like you know how like you walk on a crosswalk? I'll be looking to see the light that like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know where the fuck they like, how they know when to go? Like, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't find their light. The light is usually right in front of them. And that's one thing too, like when I went to DC before and I drove through DC, they lights is like on the side. Like, you feel me? Like it's not over the thing like that. You see how right there is just over it? It's right there in dc you'd be like in a corner and shit and i'm like what the fuck like but i guess that's certain parts of dc but anyway as i stated everything i'm talking about in this video is related to jupiter is related to traveling you know and so okay i think i kind of know where i'm going because um as i stated i haven't gone this way before but i do kind of recognize the stops like like Piñero is a stop on the train and I'm passing a street that says Avenida Jesus de Piñero. And um, you gotta make sure you really paying attention when you cross certain streets, especially at night and you don't got no bright shit on or you know, people be driving how all they be driving. And you know, it's just important to pay attention. But anyway, so yeah, everything I'm talking about has to do with travel. like. You know, because that's what Jupiter Day is about. Making sure you're being vigilant when you're traveling. Making sure you're paying attention to your surroundings and, and also your internal space. You don't want to be fucked up in the head walking somewhere. Fucked up in the head traveling outside, riding your bike in your car and shit. Because it's easy for accidents and things like that to happen. Because, you, um, because you're not focused in the right areas and things like that. So... Um, so yeah, ooh, my motherfucking arm is hurt. <laughs> Yo, anyway, 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 anyway. So, that, as I said, Jupiter is about education. Jupiter is about all these things. And Jupiter is about the things you're willing to expand on. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the time you're taking to learn about this particular area is like you, like, in Jupiter. Like, you in Ju the Jupiter world. Like, if you want to learn how to play an instrument and you start reading the music you start watching the youtube videos you start um practicing every day you start um even when you're not around it you learning different things about it and how it correlates to all these other things that you might not even realize um until you know you started the process and that routine and you see how it connects to all these other things and it just helps you along the way and so yeah um what else okay yeah so another thing i want to talk about is right like my natal as far as my natal bitch is that thunder it's fine because i ain't scared of nothing you know what i'm saying and if it start raining i'm gonna find me a motherfucking roof to go up under and i'm gonna do my thing because i don't trip about nothing you feel me it's all about your ability to be able to adjust and adapt you feel me that's why motherfuckers be so good at sports like sports is not just for the sport you good at it and you know it's like when you when you go throughout life you easily able to improv and bounce back and and go through different areas and 
and do certain things and make certain moves and be strategic in ways that might be very, you know, difficult or you might not be as, somebody might not be as quick thinking as you. You know, you can think quickly, of course, in other ways internally and shit like that, but I believe the physical representation too, especially when you know where to place that energy, it can help you through out other areas in your life as well. And so, um, so yeah, I was talking about Jupiter. Oh yeah, so my natal Jupiter is in the third house, you know, and the third house deals with your local environment. Jupiter deals with the far out environment, you know, so Jupiter don't really like to be in the third house, you know, so it's like expanding your local environment or like, you know, for me, it's like, I don't feel like I've ever really resonated with the environment I've been in. Like, like, I don't feel like I'm from the place that I was supposedly born. I don't feel like I'm from like certain, you know, how people can rep hoods so easily just like, oh, I'm from this place. I'm from this street. I'm from this block. I'm from this and that, you know. For me, it hasn't necessarily been where I, I always felt like wherever I'm from is a world that I create myself. It don't matter if I'm in another country, in another place, in another state. I always feel very different than my surroundings, you know? And so that's like a representation of Jupiter in the third house, you know? And so it deals with like local expansion or also like, um, like disassociating, like separating, separate energy. Where like, even in my household growing up, you know, it was always some type of conflict and friction. Like I just didn't feel comfortable there. Like I just didn't fuck with these people. Like, like you know, it was just like, I always had to be in my little cocoon. And you know, that has a lot to do with cancer. Me being a cancer moon too. You know, shout out to the cancer moon in the sky right now. But yeah, you know, so Jupiter, 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 you know, it's like, I, I really fuck with Jupiter. I love Thursdays. Like, I just, I love this energy because it's like far out and it deals with education. And I fuck with education so much because there's always so much that you can learn. You know, there's always so much that you can expand on. And it's about what you're willing to expand on, you know. Um, if I get lost, which kind of might be hard because it's really just like a straight shot um but um I'm okay with it because wherever I like I just like to go with the flow and I like to learn from my surroundings and I like to go down different streets and different routes and see what's there even if I really do want to make it home even though I do got bags in my hand like I also see this I think I felt some raindrops just, just now, but there's this roof right here. So if I, I feel it start to rain a little bit, I'm gonna either run to this behind me or I'm gonna go forward to look for like a roof or whatever. But yeah, I just really fuck with like the education and everything that's involved with traveling. It's like you learn different things about yourself. Like you learn like, like what you're capable of. You learn like, where your spirit is at too like let's say you're just walking down the street you're just walking somewhere and you're not even thinking about much or your location or where you're going or anything it's like the place you end up the things you see on the way and the things you experience the things that you notice the first thing that you look at it's like that's where that's where your spirit is at you know what i'm saying just like if you was to draw a picture or draw some circles or draw some shit on a paper without really thinking about it that'll tell you too where you at spiritually you know that's why I love to draw, I love art, and I love the type of drawing and the art that I do. And that brings me to another thing as far as like, you know, um, when it comes to Jupiter, you experiencing, and then like you experiencing traveling, you able to abstract, abstract, extract, whatever, wisdom and knowledge from that, right? It's just like when you do art, you know, they got these different categories like abstract art and shit like that, right? And it's like, I feel like, that's what it's about like you you travel throughout life and you're able to like emit this light this spark that you created through art you know and they put it and call it these different characters um these different uh words like abstract and shit like that right but it's really whatever word whatever label whatever box circle shape you want to 
make some shit or something but um but yeah so you know it's it's like jupiter it applies to so many different things like you know um but yeah so i was saying like jupiter like being, for my natal jupiter is in the third house and then i also want to talk about um like my natal jupiter is in the third house but jupiter is in aries right now so it's transiting my eighth and ninth house it's like it's like eighth but ninth like you know how kind of like you might look at one website say this another website might say that so i just I, I it's mostly eighth as far as aries but i'll be thinking about that little cusp with ninth as well too so but i just really learn about what i can abstract from the eighth and the ninth house or whatever so jupiter in the eighth house is like expanding on behind the scenes shit the shit that you don't see like my life i feel like it's shit you don't see like you don't necessarily see people doing the shit like i'm doing it or living or whatever the fuck like you know and i feel like it's literally the same for everybody else too though like i'm not saying i'm so special i'm just saying like i'm an individual and i hope that i'm able to inspire other people to be themselves and them as an individual as well and and that reminds me of like music and shit because jupiter is not just external travel it's internal travel too and i feel like when you create in music when you when you know you real firm on your intent behind your music and and how it's able to help you travel to these different locations inside and and you start to feel differently about different things that you experienced and you might have felt at that particular time you know so it's like doing that doing those mental exercises and making sure you're not staying stuck and fixated in the same kind of heavy weight from something you might experience you're able to go back there again and and make the situation lighter so you know yeah and um so yeah that's jupiter in the eighth house as far as expanding on your behind the scenes expanding on the shit that you don't see and stuff like that so jupiter being in the ninth house is just like expanding your education like that's like i think that's like for jupiter the house i don't want to talk about my talk about my ass but i know that jupiter is related to sagittarius and i know the ninth house birth sagittarius and sagittarius deals with traveling and education and so does jupiter you know so um i'm looking at the signs at san juan school of design i love seeing shit like that and that's why i'm saying like this particular way i haven't been before so i really can't complain like because i was flunked as hell before like i was low-key trying to just like go through the train because sometimes they don't be right there and he wasn't right there you know what i'm saying but he was like off to the corner off to the side he didn't even look like he worked there so i'm like oh i'm just about to open this thing and go through that's what i was about to do <laughs> and he's like he said something like da 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 which means like card like like what the fuck your card at basically but he didn't say it mean or anything he just said it and um and just because of that experience, I'm like, I'm just walk. Even though I had the money to just do it, I'm just like, I really don't feel like necessarily spending my money on the train. Like I just, you know, like I was gonna spend it on a bus, which was 75 cent. The train is a dollar and 50 cent, you know? And so I'm like, I waited for the bus, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. The bus didn't go. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm going to go to the train. I'm going to try to walk through that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not trying to pay. A, I know it's not that different, 75 cent versus a dollar and 50 cent. But when you, like, indulge and spend a lot at once and shit, which is me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it gets to the, it's not even the end of the damn month. You know what I'm saying? But when it get, like, closer to certain times, that's when, um, you know, I be, like, a little more strategic on my coins and shit like that because... Um, you know, I still sometimes maybe want to take the train to work or something like that. It's like, I don't really have to take public transportation. I can really walk everywhere. It's just like, I have to also take really better care of my feet because I don't want to overexhaust my feet as well. Where it's like, I'm walking two, three, four hours every day and you know, my feet start to hurt and I could barely fucking walk across the room or some shit. <laughs> like I could push past the pain and I've done it a million times and I feel like it strengthens me and stuff, but you know, I just have to balance in certain areas. So this is really just a part of my journey, you know, because um, like, it just shows me, like, you know, as I said it, like what I'm capable of when I'm traveling, I always learn what I'm capable of. You know, like I could have 
let that whole situation, you know, frustrate me or something and, and you know, whatever. But I just, like, you know, I just push past it. There's some beautiful coconuts on the ground right now. Um, but yeah. And I'm glad that I actually went to, because I went to my old apartment to like pick up some stuff or whatever. And I had my watercolor paint there. I had some art books there. Um, I think I actually forgot one of them. Excuse me, but that's okay because I'm gonna come back another day. But yeah, I'm, I'm grateful that I have my watercolor um, paint, especially um, because, you know, I'm able to add it with like the acrylic paint that I recently bought, you know, so it really don't, like the traveling is cool. You know, the journey is cool. I really fuck with it, but it's like that motivation too, like, and, and the, your intent and your reason and the meaning of why you're doing it also. Is it raining or is that the trees? Let me see. Let me walk in the street a little bit to see. Oh yeah, 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 that's rain. Okay, let's find a roof. Oh, it's a roof on the other side. Air. When it rain, you be grateful for a roof. Yeah. Ah, oh, fucking love the roof. <laughs> okay, so there go the train right there. You know what I'm saying? They go to train right there. And I'm not even going to be in no shoulda, coulda, what does you feel me? Because it's nothing like this experience and this experience that I have right now. Being outside, traveling and walking down a different street than I have before. Learning something new, doing a new video, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just really try to get into all the things I'm grateful about. Because it is easy for me to complain and shit like... <laughs> Like, you know that recent, um, let me see if it's still raining. Um, not really, but <laughs> I'm gonna wait a little bit. But, um, the recent live that Flight did when he was talking about, like, why your zodiac sign ain't shit, basically, when it comes to your friends, family, and work, and what he said about Libra for work, he was like, y'all always complain, y'all always find something to complain about and shit. And I'm just like, you know, it's easy. It's it's easy for you to complain about a lot of shit because it'd be it'd be a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time I just have to make sure that um I'm being more grateful, you know, because my life could be a lot different, you know what I'm saying, if I wasn't in, in states of gratitude and shit like that. Like if I was focused on the complaints and, and the problems and things like that, I know that it could really fuck up shit for me internally, mentally, physically, spiritually, like all of these different areas. So I just try to focus on the positivity, not so positive, not toxic positivity or anything. I'm just saying, like, I just like to look to the bright side of things. Shout out to Hey Arnold. But yeah, so um, I just feel like this whole video, me walking, me, let me see if it's still raining. Okay, it's better. It's better. I almost dropped my phone just now, but I didn't. So it's cool. Ooh, it's kind of still drizzling, but um if it if it picks up again i just find another roof like even this little shit right here <laughs> this little thing right here i would even stand under that like you know what i'm saying like yeah okay so anyway yeah jupiter 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 okay so jupiter third house expanding your local environment jupiter eighth house expanding the behind the scenes the shit you don't see jupiter ninth house expanding your education level where you know you're kind of able to teach others and things that you know about or whatever but one thing too though is that um when it comes to jupiter like in a third house when you don't like when you don't um intentionally and like with undivided attention and shit learn about your experiences and learn about your patterns and do what you need to do to retain the information and and be focused and um don't be so quick to be telling like your local environment about all the shit you learned or the shit you know because um it's really about how how you're teaching it like you could be teaching it in a way where it's, where people could be like oh you just learned that shit type shit you know what i'm saying versus like you being able to really sit in the knowledge and wisdom that you abstracted from certain experiences so you're able to portray in a way of like okay you know where somebody can receive it better you know like as chaotic as this fucking video is you know what i'm saying 
um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm learning and I'm teaching myself that, you know, like, it's okay that things don't go as planned and it's okay that, um, you, it's just, that's really the sum of it. Like, it's okay that things work out differently than you thought. It's okay that things work out differently than you expected. It's okay that you had this whole plan in your mind of what you wanted to happen a certain way and it don't really look like that because, you know, and I stated this in another video, like, your unpredictable situations and circumstances is always an opportunity for you to learn something new. And like, you know what I'm saying? If I was to write a book, you know, I'd just be free. Yeah. <laughs> Vibe or some shit. You know, that would be in there. That would be in there. It would be like every unpredictable situation. I'm looking at a plane right now. Flights, air. <laughs> every, I wonder if, I don't know how to flip the camera, but it's like up there. I don't know if you can see it, but it got like a green light blinking an orange light blinking and it's kind of close and it's about to land because the airport is is close um but yeah i just feel like that would be something good for me to write just like um it'd be feeling like i'm in baltimore too sometimes like the way the streets like like downtown um by not even downtown i don't know what area that is it's like um one of these university of maryland type places i remember when i was in high school we had went on tour to like different colleges and like the like that area or whatever so Howard was one of them and University of Maryland um UMBC yeah Baltimore County so it's not downtown but yeah UMBC or something like that or like I don't know just be feeling familiar like I like I, as I said it this is my first time going down the street but I'm experiencing I'm seeing certain things and it feels familiar and stuff. I don't know necessarily that I would say maybe it's from Baltimore. Oh, this is a um art and technology school. What the fuck? It's a arte. It's a arte y tecnología. And I'm like, whoa, like, you know, like shit like that, it just inspires me. The sign was green, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, they already know when it comes to art and technology, technology, art. It's so much growth that can come from that, you know? Like art alone is, is amazing, you know? But I feel like they knew what they was doing when they added the green to that sign. But um, I wonder if I'm still going the right way, but regardless, wherever, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> I just feel like, I just feel like whatever's supposed to happen to me, like I just be feeling like it's gonna happen. Like, you know how sometimes like, people might um uh what's the word like deter they try to deter you against they like they try to persuade you to do something different because they're like oh my god it's dangerous oh my god it's nighttime oh my god this and that you know these different things right is my nose goddamn running because it kind of feel like it but not really I know that was ghetto, but <laughs> story of my life, searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me. That's why you got to be the one that determines what's wrong or right. You know what I'm saying you can't get lost in the other shit. Ooh, if my goddamn bag move one more motherfucking time, I really ain't going to do shit but try to fix it. But I just wanted to express like, like that was really a, a problem.